Welcome to Jum Statula YouTube channel. Hope you are doing very well in your studies. Today's lesson is reviewing the past year exam questions for summer 2021, part two of two. So without further ado, let's dive into the multiple exam question of chemistry. Let's get started. A period of the periodic tables is shown. We have group 1 until group 8 and element R through element Z. The letters are not their chemical symbol. Which statement is correct? Rubidium is represent group 1 and bromide is coming from a group 7. So rubidium and bromide react together to form an ionic compound. So the answer for number 21 is B. All metal nitrate are soluble in water. All metal chlorides are soluble except silver and lead. All metal carbonates are insoluble except sodium and potassium, which aqua solution produce a precipitate when mixed together. So silver nitrate plus will react with sodium carbonate and silver nitrate react with sodium chloride. When silver nitrate and sodium carbonate undergo a double replacement reaction which should result in the formation of the water soluble. And for the silver nitrate react with the sodium chloride, almost all nitrate salts are soluble in water with sodium chloride. So the answer for this would be 1 and 2, which is A. Which row describes property of transition elements? Properties of transition element is when they, they have the color compound, high density, and variable oxidation state. The noble gases are in group 8 of the periodic table, which statement explains why noble gases are reactive. I refer to chapter periodic table. Group 8 of the periodic tables are the noble gases or inert gases. Example is helium, neon, argon, krypton, xenon, and radon. So the name comes from the fact that these elements are virtually unreactive towards other elements. And the reason being is they have they all have full outer shells of electron. The atom of noble gases already have complete outer shell, so they have no tendency to lose or gain. So the answer for this will be B. Which statement is correct for all matters? Metal conduct electricity in their molten state and they form cation, cation by losing electron and these electrons are responsible for conducting electricity so efficiently. So the answer for 25 is A. Carbon dioxide is produced during the Attractions of aluminium from bosit. Which statement describes how this carbon dioxide is made? And refer to electrolysis. The molten aluminium sinks to the bottom of the cell where it is stepped off. This oxygen reacts with the carbon of the positive electron, forming carbon dioxide. And so they gradually burn away. As a result, the positive electron have to be replaced frequently. The answer for this would be oxygen made in the process react with the carbon electron. Aluminum objects do not need protection from corrosion. Iron object must be protected from corrosion. Which statement explain why aluminum resists corrosion? Because aluminum has a protective oxide layer. 27 is C. Which statement explain why zinc is used to protect iron from rusting? Because zinc is more reactive than iron. That is the answer. And zinc 
acts as the sacri sacrificial metal. So the answer would be B. Which condition are used in the harbor process? If you look at the harbor process, the temperatures required is 400 to 450. And the pressures atmospheres is about 200. So the most suitable answer for number 25, 29 is C. Which process does not produce a greenhouse gas? Zinc on the reaction with sulfuric acid liberate hydrogen gas and zinc sulfate. And the question asks about which process does not produce a greenhouse gas? So the answer would be D. Which reaction involving sulfur dioxide is correct? During the attractions of zinc from zinc blender, sulfur dioxide is obtained as byproduct. So the answer for this would be A. It is produced during the attraction, attractions of zinc from zinc blender. Lime or calcium oxide is used to treat waste water from a factory, which substance is removed by the lime. Lime and calcium oxide is a basic, and thus it reacts with the acid such as sulfuric acid. Lime does not react with ammonia, base, neutral salt, and an H. So the answer for this will be sulfuric acid. What is the structure of the ester formed from ethanoid, acid, and propanol? If you can see, is CH3, CH2, CH2, OH plus CO2, H4O2 to form C5, H10O2 plus H2O. And also, it can be written as CH3, COOCH2, CH2, and CH3. The answer would be 33 D. Fuel X produce carbon dioxide and water when it is burned in the air. So does fuel Y. What could X and Y be? X would be methane and Y could be octane. So the answer will be D. The structure of four organic molecules are shown. This is under functional group of OH. And in terms of the homologous series of alcohol. A homology series is a sequence of compounds with the same functional group and similar chemical properties. So the question now is, how many different homology series are represented by this molecule? So we have one, two, and three. So the answer will be C. Which statement about ethane is correct? When ethane is burned in excess of oxygen, it produces carbon dioxide and water. This reaction is an exothermic reaction and produces heat. So the answer for 36 is B. It burns in excess oxygen, producing carbon dioxide and water. Ethanol is manufactured by fermentation of sugar or by catalytic hydration of ethane, which roles stay an advantage of each method. If you look at advantages of making ethanol from ethane, which is hydration, it is currently a cheap process as ethane is a fairly cheap and not much of it is wasted. And it is a continuous process. There are no waste products and it doesn't use crop that could be used as a food or attractive. It's fast and reliable and the product made is more pure than that made by fermentation. So we can see in a process of hydration, one of it is, is a continuous process. Fermentation is a process of renewable resources. Like fuel, because the plant that made the sugar from the process can be grown very quickly. So you can see that the most suitable answer for this question would be fermentation uses a renewable resources and hydration advantages is a continuous process. So number 37 would be D. 38, which statement about unsaturated hydrocarbons are correct? Let's look into the explanation. An unsaturated hydrocarbon is a type of hydrocarbon 
which has at least one double bond, triple bond, or ring in its carbon chain. So it made the answer for number one. And steam cracking is a petrochemical process in which saturated hydrocarbon are broken down into smaller, often unsaturated, and hydrocarbon. So it made the answer for number three. They can be manufactured by cracking. So the answer would be one and three. Which polymer have the same linkage between monomers unit? So refer to chapter natural molecular. Protein have the same amic linkage as nylon, but instead of being made from two different monomers, protein are made up from 20. So these monomers are all amino acids. So all amino acids have the amine, carboxylic acid, group in common, and it is formed through condensation reaction as water is formed. So I would prefer that the answer for 10 to 9 would be protein and polyamine. The diagram shows the partial structure of terylene and from which pair of the compound it is made. The answer for this number 40 is A. And we are already end for this presentation. So with that being said, wish you all the best in your study. Please subscribe to John Study Lab YouTube channel. And follow me at Jom Stadila Instagram. Customized notes are currently available at http slash www.beacons.ai slash Jom Stadila. Or you can assess this customized note via Jom Stadila Instagram. And that's all for today. See you later. Thank you.